Our time is short. A mystic must heal us. You have me confused with someone else. To give life, you must take it first. Are you deliberately ignoring me? Outsider? We are impressed. The trials are for the mystics. Yet you survive. Sith are often tested through combat. A mystic must be prepared. Visions show our fortunes. Survival depends on a mystic's sight. A mystic protects the Voss. He must know our enemy. You mean the teched out natives? The Gormak? The Gormak will destroy us. A mystic must know how. Crude, but effective. I am Magrasu. All potentials must face me. The trials are dangerous. I meet more corpses than men. If the trials are worth dying for, I don't see why. A mystic must know his role. This is the first trial. Focus and meditation, the second. Healing and balance, the third. Only one with a mystic's understanding can defeat the Gormak. You have passed. What does an outsider get for passing the trials? The trials bring clarity. A mystic's power is awakened. You have learned to see. A vision will be granted. How can I have a vision if I'm not a mystic? I will see. You will tell me where to look. Look upon the ancient tablets. The vision will come. Focus. Your vision will come. Had enough, child? Can you feel your grip on life slipping? Excellent. Now I know I will get my chance to face you. A wish granted does not always bring success. The vision is over. You have seen what comes. There must be some way to change it. A mystic is never wrong. A mystic sees. The Voss respond. The trials have ended. Leave now. Who is in command here? I need information on the Gormax ship. I'm in command of this outpost. I can tell you of the ship. My second in command led a strike force to the construction site. They could not breach its shields. Where are the shield generators located? How are they defended? Kotalde, speak of your battle at the ship construction site. My commandos attempted to reach the shield generators. The Gormak were organized and waiting, led by one they call their king, Joko. They were too many and too entrenched. We were forced to turn back. Since when do Gormak plan defenses? They're brutes. Jokul has united them. This has never happened before. The ship is nearly finished. It will be capable of attacking Voskar by air. The generators surround the ship. Many Gormak will defend them. Take these. Once the shield is down, plant the charges on the ship. That will keep it from the stars. The explosion shook the ground. Mormac surely know their ship will never fly. Now is our chance to strike a Jokul, their leader. I have sent a strike team ahead. They will need your help. Jokul retreated to his stronghold. He has taken some of our wounded with him. What kind of defenses does it have? How many Gormak will be guarding it? The strongest Gormak will guard the king with technology and monstrosities. My second, Kotalde, will join your assault inside. Thank you. None of the Gormak we've encountered so far seem to be in charge. Where is their leader? Much further into the stronghold. The bulk of the Gormak horde are in the passages ahead. 
They will rush to the defense of their king. We should eliminate Jokul's potential reinforcements. Many commandos would die in the cave-in, but so would the Gormak. That seems like a wise idea. We will join you again when it is done. You will never reach the stars. The mystics have seen your failure. A Gormak dares to speak as if he has a mystic's knowledge. This is sacrilege. It's nothing, an idle threat. Visions are a sacred gift, given only to mystics. They are not given to beasts like him. Death will end your curse. The Dark Heart is an evil place. All who go near it are driven mad. No one returns from there. I'll kill you when I'm done with you. Until then, you'll do as I say. You have power, stop complaining and use it. I'll give you to the Voss. Your visions might be worth something to them. We will take him to Telson Fall and report Kotal Day's death. You should report to your people in Vaska as well. Go with our gratitude. News of your victory preceded you. The entire city is talking of it. They say you took this so-called Gormak King captive. The fools are entirely convinced you are the agent of their prophecy. Well done indeed. So now we wait for the Voss to agree to join the Empire. Our victory is almost at hand. Samaro has already asked for an audience with you. Emissary, the lady you wish to speak with has arrived. I wouldn't keep her waiting. The Gormak ship has been destroyed. They shall not reach the stars. You are the one from the vision. The three have heard the report of your battle with Jokul. They are troubled. Gormak are not mystics. They have no visions. This is the new wisdom the prophecy foretold. It lies in the dark heart. You expect me to find out what gave him his power? It is dangerous, but the mystics have spoken. The dark heart is an evil place deep within the nightmare lands. We are forbidden to go there. We do not know what it holds. You must return to us with this knowledge. I'll search the Dark Heart for answers. You have our gratitude. Well done. One final move, and Voss will be ours. It won't be simple. Even the most powerful Sith have not made it far into the Dark Heart. What's kept us from exploring it? The power of the Dark Side is overwhelming there. Strong enough that it drives even Sith mad. Dark Lord Murbeck Gen dwells on the edge of the Dark Heart, studying its power. He alone has managed to withstand the madness. Seek him in the Nightmare Lands. He must know a way for you to defend yourself from the Dark Power. Sullivan thinks he's so clever pretending to be interested in the secrets of the Dark Heart. He doesn't appreciate the genius of my work, how intricate the Dark Powers are. I do the important work on Voss. Who in the Emperor's name are you? I'm here on Imperial business. 
I need to enter the Dark Heart. Sith, they think they know power. But you cannot understand what true power is until you've been to the Dark Heart. You should not be here. The dark power in this place will shatter your mind into a thousand pieces. It takes hours of meditation every day for me to keep my mind intact. I need to go in there and come out sane. What for? Are you trying to take over my research? I will harness the power here, and with it I will bring the galaxy to its knees for the Emperor. Then I shall. Who are you? What do you want? Tell me how to endure the power here. I pulled this shard from the belly of the Dark Heart. Madness calls to it. There are two ways to defend your mind. Carry it with you while you carve a path of destruction through the denizens of the Nightmare Lands. I won't go on a fool's errand. No, no, that's not the plan. That's just the first step. The hatred and agony of your victims will charge the shard. Then you must channel the Shard's power into a Varanticus. The Varanticus will become an embodiment of madness. Killing it will grant you mastery over that aspect of the Dark Power. What's the second method? There are shrines in the Nightmare Lands. Jedi in origin. There you could draw out and destroy the madness within the Shard. Not as elegant a solution, but it should work. So. Will you slaughter beasts, or seek the shrines? I'll take my chances with the Jedi ruins. Hmm. Possible. You should still yield some data, I suppose. Return to me when you're finished. I will make sure the protective ritual is complete. I'm done. I cleansed the shard at the shrines. You did? This throws all my calculations into disarray. Very well. Let me see the shard now. Good. Good. Entirely purged. I will record this test as successful. Am I sufficiently protected against the insanity? You are as protected as I can make you. Whether that is sufficient remains to be seen. So, you will venture into the Dark Heart? Serevin sends you out there, does he? Yes. I'm sure he did. Very well. You are an unusual specimen. I don't know what will result from this. The deepest secrets of the Dark Heart lie through the Grim Warrens. Whatever you seek, it is likely there. <laughs> I didn't come this far to talk to an underling. Bring your master. I am in your debt. Selma Kor still lives, but at last I am free of him. I have been a prisoner in the darkness so long. I must repay you for this. You have questions. My time grows short, but I will give you what answers I can. Who are you? Why should I listen to you? My name is Nemok Ta, and I once aided the Jedi in their war against the Sith. The creature you faced was an avatar of Selma Kor. And I am one of those who brought his evil upon us all. What is he? Where does he get his power? Start talking, and I'll tell you when to stop. His story begins with the Sith. Long ago, the Sith came to our world. To them, we were beasts, unworthy of notice. But then the Jedi arrived, pursuing them. To the Jedi, we were tools, weapons to turn against the Sith. The Jedi manipulated you into doing their dirty work. There was only one people here, until the Jedi came. We asked for power, 
They agreed if we would fight their enemies. We were greedy, insisted on learning all the secrets of the Force, heedless of the consequences. The Force rituals changed us. Those who studied with them became Voss. Those who did not became Gormak. That is news to me. Even my own people have forgotten. You couldn't have known. Selmacor was born from the sundering of my people. He is the darkness that devours this world. He feeds on strife. And so long as my people fight each other, the nightmare lands will grow. Please, outsider, return to Vos Ka and tell my people that they threaten Vos with their fighting. Selmacor must be stopped. The Dark Power has a name, Selmacor. I fought one of its servants, who claimed to have given Jokul his visions. This is something the Voss should hear. They've been pestering me endlessly since you left. My associate has returned at last, just as your mystic said. She met the source of Jokul's power and defeated it. Thank you for defeating this creature, Outsider. We await the wisdom the mystic foretold. Your learning will shape Voss's future among the stars. I'm sure you've discovered something you can tell the three. Something relevant to the Empire's negotiations, perhaps? The Voss and the Gormak were once the same race. And now, something in the Dark Heart feeds on your conflict. Impossible! The Voss are not kin to those beasts! Calm yourself, Gunther Bear. Perhaps the Outsider speaks metaphorically. No interpretation of such a claim can be true. My associate only meant that all life on Voss is connected. This is why you must have outsider allies to defeat the Dark Hearts. I do not like this. I will carry your words to the Mystics. They will guide us. If you don't stop fighting the Gormak, the Nightmare Lands will spread. We followed the visions of the Mystics. If they say we must end the war, we will. You believe this? I believe the Mystics. The vision is fulfilled. We will speak again, Ambassador Saruman. The Mystics will consider what has been said here. Did the Dark Heart erode your wits? You've thrown away any hope of an alliance with Voss. And for what? They'll be grateful to us for the truth once they've adjusted to the idea. Or perhaps the Voss will remain the obstinate, irrational nitwits they've always been. You've jeopardized our entire position on this planet. Don't think you've heard the end of this. Make yourself an obstacle if you want, Seravin. You won't be the first Sith Lord I've crushed underfoot. <laughs>